Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 11th, September 11th, 9-11 of uh, 2018. Hard to believe that tragic event was 17 years ago. But despite seeing the sunshine out there, I'm sure you can hear it. <clears throat> it is a pouring out here this morning. Man, even the heater in the shop is running, and I'm even wearing a light coat. Tis the season there, Abby. Little woman. It's made it to work. Rained on us quite a bit up north, but it got better as we got down south here. Everything's mostly dry as well. Uh oh. The solid white trucks a lot of times has the Indians in them. I wonder if we got one of the new chieftain elites. There's supposed to be one coming. Alright, I'm going to roll though. Alright. Uh, see you, you. bye. Bye bye. So, there was no Indians. I can't even figure out what, what the guy dropped off. He might have just been a truck coming around Coxley out there and never even was even in our store. <clears throat> anyway, finishing up on a 2010 Spider. Previous owner obviously didn't keep it above 4,000 RPM, so the EVAP canister was saturated. Purge valve was bad, so it always smells like... These things have a gassy smell when they run anyway, but uh, this one was exceptionally bad. But uh, anyway, I had a, the rear panel off of this thing because the right rear speaker had uh, had failed on it as well. Anyway, putting that back together, and this is a gentleman, I think he's from Canada. He's getting a big service on it, one of the ones with valves and brakes and everything else. So that's going to be my job for the day. So i got to get this spider out of the way and start tearing into the beamer. Oh no, not starting to sprinkle again. I thought I was going to get a ride in before I got wet. I need to, need to test ride this thing down the highway right quick and thought I'd take you guys along. I don't like all the honking horn sounds going on out here. People getting rowdy with each other out here. What I say, what's going on? Must have aligned this one because she is absolutely as straight as an arrow. Oh yeah, it's so nice to ride them when they're aligned. Absolutely wonderful. that it's not a new spider it's a new can-am product it's a new three-wheeled motorcycle man a lot of, a lot of response from that thing that's really cool i mean you can't i mean it's on-road off-road and you can tell by the 
the front fairing with the radiator and stuff up there, you're not going to go crazy. But man, going goofing around, dirt roads and stuff like that. Oh, how cool. Don't even have to worry about the belt. And, you know, I, you see where I take spiders. And those 1330s, man, the front of that thing is really low. I have no problem going places on that thing off-road. This one definitely sits higher. And then uh, the shaft drive, no matter what, you don't have to worry about a belt or nothing. Ugh. Well, there is one belt you have to worry about because it is a CVT. It's uh, essentially like a snowmobile belt inside that. Excuse me, clutches and belt inside that thing. But those things are so reliable nowadays. All right. Thanks for coming along. I might as well lock it so it don't beat. Thanks for coming along for the speed hider rip. All right. All's going well on this GSA. Got the uh, brakes flushed, air filter. About to seal up, put oil in here. And about ready to pop the... Uh, Pour put oil and I'll pop the valve covers off, do a valve inspection. But that white truck we seen this morning, there was Indians in there. They're around the corner there by the corporate building, so I didn't see them. And uh, there's two chieftains in there. There's a chieftain dark horse that's a flat white. Oh, so you know, for 2019, the chieftain dark horse isn't just black. There's a dark horse and that smoke bronze that I took you for a guy, you guys for a ride on. Um, there is the black, and what we have out there is a uh, white, the flat white. And I guess Brian saying there is a limited dark horse as well. So anyway, we have two chieftains. One's a classic because they still make the class. They're referring to that as a classic now. They're just a you know the old style chieftain, and then we got one dark horse it's not so dark it's white <laughs> looks cool the engine and everything's all blacked out and I guess that coating that they put on the heads is way more expensive than uh, than actually chroming the head covers so when you see those black powder coated head covers on there they're uh, the process they used to do that it was quite complicated and quite expensive but anyway they're down there cool now why wouldn't I take advantage of bringing you guys along on a Canadian test ride. Man, this dude must be crazy tall. He's got the seat in the highest position and the suspension must be bumped. He must have the suspension set at the highest, the seat is set at the highest. It's one of those weird things where you you feel like a kid, right? Whoa, yeah. She's tall. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're riding your daddy's dirt bike when you were a wee little youngster. <laughs> 31,000 kilometers on the, on the Odo. the big service valves of course he had the uh, OEM air filter in there the valves were absolutely perfect all the intakes were exactly the same and uh, all the exhausts except for one were exactly the same but I mean like you might as well say exact I'm not gonna take you guys on a crazy long ride because he's uh, gonna be here and it's quarter till now. We get back and get the paperwork back to the boys so they can get that done so everything will be ready. Looks like he's from somewhere in Ontario. I'm not sure where. I haven't spoke with the gentleman. Last time he had the brakes flushed, which was probably at the last service because at 20,000 kilometers, 
for two years well it, even if it's not even annual at 20,000 kilometers I think they want the brakes flush BMW does anyway or if the time goes by sooner but he said uh, after they did that the rear was was awfully spongy so uh, somehow or another maybe they introduced some air so I did the full the full flush with the uh, ABS pump flush as well both on the front and the rear I didn't want to I mean the front seemed fine but if you're gonna do it you might as well do them both and it's two separate modules in a actually when you go into the brake bleed procedure and BMW diagnostic um, it you don't you'd have to skip it not to do it lovely motorcycles man everyone that owns one all just the same way there's like holy mackerel I just never knew front here so you can just drive on out of course my paperwork's downstairs thank you man. I gotta take my old butt and go walking all the way downstairs go get it and come back up all right Not like a uh, exercise is gonna hurt me right <laughs> wow this thing is tall I mean really tall <laughs> to climb off of it like a kid Alrighty, I think you guys were going on a ride on a Beamer. B -b Beamer. Man, he's got stickers from everywhere on this thing. That's cool. Well traveled. That's what you're supposed to do with a Beamer. Just take off and go. And keep on going. <laughs> well, little woman? Yes, I'm happy. We busted out a Tuesday. Yep. Time for it to head for the hills. It is. It's like snuggle time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that rain stuff this morning just made you want to just kind of hang out and get cozy, didn't I it? I know it. Blankies, puppies everywhere. Yeah. Lots of <laughs> yep. Yep. Sounds like a perfect way to spend a rainy day. I know. All righty. Right. Little woman. I don't, I don't think we can sneak out. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna sneak out for a ride today. That's that full on soaker rain right there. Look at the cows, they're going, get out, head for cover. They're all running. <laughs> Poor thing. Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a pouring down rain. Actually, it, it's quieted down quite a bit. It was pounding just a minute ago. It hasn't stopped raining since we turned off the freeway today. Mm -hmm. No. It just keeps coming in waves. Yeah. That was like quarter, 20 after 6 or so. We actually got out of work on time today. Yeah. The rain kind of quiets things down a little bit. But, daggum, it's been dumping. There's, uh, man, if there's any fires anywhere near us anyway. They're out now. They're out now. I hope the same is for up in Canada and, and north of us as well. Speaking of Canada, that's pretty cool. Doing a 30k service, 30,000 kilometer service on a on a Canadian GSA. That's pretty cool. Do oh traveling God. through the old RT. Oh nice. The old, the one that started all the the roadster touring class. <laughs> but anyway, it's nasty out here. It's kind of late. I think we're just gonna just uh, use the goodbye to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go before the dogs start making sounds. Yep, here comes Lily and yep. Sawyer, Danny, Abby. Yep, the other ones are all lounged out in the living room. Yeah. Oops. I know it. All <laughs> right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your guys' Wednesday or Thursday are amazing. Maybe all this rain is uh, the heavens crying because of 9-11. I know it. That's you know, when, so sad. Yeah, when 9-11 comes around, you know, things on TV, Facebook stuff, all the different things, man, it floods all those memories back. Yeah, it puts you right back yeah. when it happened. Yeah, that's weird. 
17 years later and it still has that kind of an impact on you, you know, it just kind of stops you in your tracks, you yeah. know. And you're going, dang, what a mess that all was. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I don't want to leave on a sad note. No. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Oh. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Or Lily gets to talking to us. I yeah. know it. We'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye now. Oh, oh, oh. Lily. <laughs> Nuts.